Hi guys, today we're not going to actually have a review of a component or a peripheral. Today I'm going to talk about a application program that I've been using for editing my videos basically from the start. Uh, I use uh, PowerDirector 15, 16, 17 now and lately I've been using PowerDirector 365. So this is a completely new way of approach which is kind of very cool and something like an Office 365 but in a cooler way because you know you get a regular updates, you get regular templates, new templates and stuff but today as I said I'm going to explain to you how the uh, PowerDirector 365 works, uh, how much does it cost and all the information containing the application, the program and I'm going to show you uh, exactly how to and what to do uh, if you're trying to start editing your uh, videos, uh, start editing your videos for some uh, YouTube channel or something like that and this is an excellent uh, application I would say program whatever you want to call it, uh, for for starters and even for a bit semi-professionals or something like that uh, because it has loads of options that even I didn't discover yet. So guys, let's dive in into PowerDirector 365 and that's it. Okay guys, so here as you can see we have the PowerDirector 16 that I used and now I'm using D17 actually it's 365 but it's practically 17 at the back uh, because you're just this is a way of uh, getting the updates and templates in the it's uh, subscription basically so uh, you either pay the ultra or ultimate power director version or you get the 365 version which is kind of the best value when taking into consideration you pay for uh, 12 months uh, $70 and let's check if you pay for one month separately it's $20 so basically 12 months in advance is $5.83 which is kind of a bargain if you ask me now uh, as you can see here you have some kind of a I don't know if these are the templates or something like that. I usually remove them because I add my own uh, files, videos, uh, pictures and anything basically that uh, I use. So basically media content. You have uh, effect rooms, you have the video overlays, uh, you have the particle room, title room, uh, transition room. Now these are all uh, different kind of uh, approaches that you could let me check this one so yeah you have more options if you go inside each of them of course i mean it would be <laughs> sad if it isn't now you can see these are the transitions general transitions i did uh, i actually when i started i had a problem with fade in and fade out uh, it was just you know in the beginning and everything so i actually did a video about it but that's for a different reason now also you have here the audio mixing room and after all you have the voiceover recording room uh, basically I don't uh, ever use this kind of extended part I just press it here and then I switch well actually it goes directly inside uh, so yeah no problem uh, let's go to the media media content and let's check out this so I'm going to use uh, something from let's see something that I already have we're gonna close this and I'm going to open day five for Computex that I still didn't edit. Let's also check uh, the resources. So it is taking out almost eight gigs, but uh, I think half of this is definitely uh, by some other Windows applications uh, that are running as well. So as you can see, you can do basically anything here in this application. Here you can see the media content and everything uh, that's um, basically uh, added by yourself. Uh, all the videos and all the images that are added in the uh, editing board uh, are basically basically have the green tick and here you have the chance to expand the uh, voice part you have the uh, ability to uh, rearrange the uh, 
<coughs> duration of the pictures and it's fairly easy but talking about power director 365 it's a video and movie uh, editing software that uh, kind of makes things easier even for the beginners you get uh, free cloud storage uh, 50 gigs you have up to date with the latest versions and features uh, ultimate access to all plugins and effects and new plugins and effects continuously are updated so basically you get everything and let me just uh, show you basically you have everything here as you can see uh, without any you know fast everything is regularly updated uh integrated video video collages multi-cam editing you have frame by frame motion tracking and you might you might saw that in a couple of my videos uh, i did uh, some uh, frame by frame motion tracking and blurring out parts as well you get a better preview manage your project library files uh, multi-key sampling uh, there are loads of uh, new effects enhanced uh, usages uh, and you have the possibility to edit a true 360 video editing so uh, it's kind of more advanced than the 16th version so the uh, power director 16 it's more advanced but the the whole thing about the power director 365 is a much more um, approach to you to get regular updates now uh, what's new let's check that out you have the unique creative tools, regular updates, premium add-ons. So uh, all AI style plugins and packs, all of the Cyberlink creative design packs, exclusive third party add-ons for video and audios. Everything is added here. As you can see, they regularly update here, uh, loads of templates and everything else. Now there's something more important here in March 2019 that they added. Uh, you have the exclusive new features, updates and improvements only for the Power Director 365 subscribers. Uh, there are library previews make the video. So for instance, uh, these are the library previews. If you press it like this or you want to check out something that you didn't place here at the bottom, you just check it out like so snap alignment uh, align or snap titles masks and objects to position them perfectly within your frame snap to vertical horizontal axis or other so basically you could uh, do anything you could manage this as well add more photos here make a collage uh, and stuff like that if you select a couple of these for instance you have the tools over here and you have power tools blending mode pan zoom magic uh, you can make a slideshow uh, it's unbelievable because it gives you so much options now talking about the preview and how to manage your uh, media library files um, power director makes the video editing process even faster by previewing marking and trimming clips directly inside your project media library uh, an exclusive split window mode allows you to preview selected clips while a functional toolbar lets you quickly trim these sections you need mark highlights to come back to later uh, and even quickly insert the editing clip directly into your timeline so that is completely something different that you could do without any problem now I also mentioned the true 360 video editing uh, you can import uh, quite angular footage uh, create a true 360 project edit with a full range of design tools uh, then export it in a 360 format which is uh, outstanding uh, the uh, video stabilization in 360 shaky video footage is, is virtually unavoidable when shooting with 360 camera so they uh, actually managed uh, 360 VR stabilization technology that gives you the control to produce mind-blowing VR videos. Uh, honestly, I'm not doing 360 videos, so I haven't tried this uh, function, but, but that is something for more like uh, vloggers and stuff like that. Uh, there's also a view designer, the 360 video footage to create standard video project it's like you filmed a scene with multiple cameras from multiple angles and uh, apply special design 360 titles pip objects uh, that remove warping and distortion in your 360 uh, projects uh, customizable design tools you have the mass designer transition designer title designer paint designer i already mentioned those they're all on this side uh, here on the left 
Now the most important thing, uh, what do you need for your PowerDirector 365 and what are the minimum system requirements? You have the operating system, so Windows 10, of course. Uh, as for the CPUs, uh, the lowest that you could go is Intel Core uh, i-series, so that is i3, i5, i7, but I would suggest something above i5 and the AMD Phenom 2 or above definitely would go with currently Ryzen uh, 2 at least uh, that would be perfect now as for the graphic processors uh, the GPU the graphic cards uh, they can be used with the power director to, to boost the rendering uh, of the videos so basically if you have any card that is from GTX 1050 Ti to above you're perfectly uh, okay with it uh, for 360 videos you need the direct x11 compatible graphic card which we all have 11 uh, 12 so probably you have it and as for the ai plugin uh, at least two gigabytes of vga vram uh, or higher as for the memory you need two gigabytes required so as i sh uh, shown you something is hitting my uh, ram uh, there's something uh, s uh, consuming six gigabytes because you can see power director is using only two gigs uh, for the disk space for the hard disk space of the power director it uses uh, up to 10 gigabytes uh, so that is quite all right if you want to burn the drives you need to have a cd dvd a writer reader uh, something like that so guys basically i know i said a lot in this uh 10 15 minutes video and it wasn't basically a tutorial it was just a small introduction to the power director 365 and that you can manage a very nice subscription for monthly payments and uh, basically that is it now i i don't usually do uh, application program uh, how do you say reviews or mentions or anything like that but since i've been using practically uh for three and a half years with my personal initiative uh, the power director program and i really like using it uh, i didn't mind doing this video so guys check out the links below if you're starting to make youtube videos create something this is a perfect solution if you're starting out uh, with the youtube channel or anything that you're doing your videos for uh, you could start with the power director and eventually grow as you learn more about the program about the power director 365 you can grow alongside with it learn more stuff through it and eventually get more updates to the application to with the templates add-ons and some professional more material that you could use there's always uh, more material that you could uh, learn from the power director tutorials and stuff like that so yeah uh, definitely check out the link below and i'll do more videos about power director as uh, the time goes on and that's all there is to it guys so thank you for watching again don't forget to check the links below don't forget to click the like button and subscribe see you next time guys bye bye